Hi friends, welcome to Spring Batch tutorial series by Java Coding Skills. In this series, we will learn about Spring Batch framework. We will not only learn the Spring Batch framework, but also try to learn what batch programming is. What are the real use cases where this batch programming is being used? My name is Asis Kumar Singh. So please do like, subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to not miss any future notifications. So let's start with some real use cases where this batch processing being used. Nowadays, one of the most popular domain that is banking where this batch programming being used a lot. Let's take one example. As a end user or a customer, we are using credit card, right? So we are doing some shopping or transaction using this credit card. But if we log in back to our account through net banking or some other system, this transaction detail not reflecting immediately. It's taking some time to reflect there. Why? Because this transaction detail being saved or being available some other application that is altogether belongs to different system. Coming to your customer account where you are seeing this detail, it belongs to some other application which have their own system and own databases. In order to get those information from there to here, some batch processing coming into the picture and transfer those data are those details from those system to this system. So this is one of the batch processing use cases. Similarly, there are other use cases in banking domain where one system required some other system data which happening to the batch processing. Similarly, in education system as well. We we retrieving uh, some SMS mail some notification regarding to uh, fees due date some holiday or some some other notification and our result got processed or mark sheet getting generated or printed or some lot of X Y Z thing happening behind the scene that is also called a batch processing. Similarly, in retail domain, as this retail domain dealing with lot of product, millions of products and categories, right? So everyone have their own items which might available or not available. Basically, I mean to say some inventory management system. They updating their data frequently. Some of the other system which really communicate with the inventory to get those availability details to get those data back from that inventory system to this system, this batch processing being used. Any of the system not communicating with someone else's database directly and even they are not using any web service or something to get data every time back from there to here. As this data is used and frequently being used, they must have in their, their place and from there they can use easily or they can load into the cache that also happening in the only once in the uh, day. In the retail domain, some reports or some other thing getting generated in the, the day or in the, the week or in the, the month based on their need. So all this is stuff happening through the batch processing only. In healthcare, we getting our health report or any uh, diagnosis report via mail. Similarly, we are getting notification. So, a lot of uh, huge cases in this uh, in this real world where this batch processing being used. So many, so many. Not only with these four uh, in airlines or railway. In railway, like to book your ticket, you getting. 
suppose your ticket is not confirmed or something, the moment it is confirmed, you are getting some SMS. How it's happening? All those stuff happening behind the scene. What is the mean of batch processing? With minimal human interruption or without human interruption, is something happening behind the scene called batch processing. So in this video, we learned about this batch processing. In the next video, we will uh, learn how this batch processing really work. So thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, please do like and subscribe and press the bell icon. So we'll continue the, the series in the next video and so on. Please do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to not miss any future notifications.